Now, over the past few weeks, we've been following the story of Molly the Magpie. Despite being raised by a Gold Coast family, the bird had to be handed over to authorities, tearing him away from his best mates, Peggy and Ruby. Now, after 45 days and a few international news stories, there's good news with Molly back home. <laughs> Oh. Molly's owners, Juliet Wells and Reese Mortensen, say Wiggly Bottoms were in full force <laughs> as the unlikely friends were reunited. And Juliet and Reese join us right now alongside Molly the Magpie and Peggy and Ruby, the English staffies. Good morning to you both. Juliet, describe to us that moment. You said Wiggly Bottoms. What was it like when Molly came home? It was it was wiggly bottom chaos. Um, <laughs> yeah, Molly started. Uh, he was very quiet on the way back home, so we actually didn't hear a peep out of him. As soon as he saw the girls and they were wiggling and you know sort of surrounding him, he started singing and letting out these little noises like "I've missed you guys." Aww. Yeah, it was so amazing to watch. Oh, is Molly there? Can we see it? I know this is a Zoom chat. Can we see Molly somewhere in the background, or is he flying around? Oh, he was around? here before. He's just ran into the out yeah, the front. Oh, so uh, typical. Was there a point where you thought Molly wouldn't be coming home? Did you ever lose faith? Oh, look, it's hard not to. I mean, I'm a pretty positive person and we had a massive team behind us, an army. Um, but, yeah, I mean, coming up uh, against the department, yeah, some, sometimes I did question whether it was going to happen or not. But uh, every day I got up and I visualised this moment sitting here talking to you. So... Reese, what did you make of the international push to get them back together? Oh, it was incredible. Like, uh, we would never in a million years expected people from all around the world um, being uh, being in news stories like the Washington Times, New York Times, oh, Washington Post, New York Times, yeah. BBC World News. Yeah, we'd never, ever, not even in a wildest dreams of thought it would ever go this far. Mm. Uh, Juliet, your message to um, all the Sunrise viewers who got behind this campaign. Oh, we just want to thank you so much. Um, we saw it all. We were in tears. <laughs> we saw all the emails. We saw all the messages, the phone calls. Um, these people just stood by us and, yeah, I mean, words can't express our deep gratitude for that. Oh. Um, and just before we let you go, your message to the government department that got involved in this. Um, thank you that we have Molly back and we have a licence. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Thank you, yes. guys. Um, <laughs> it is fantastic. And keep updating us as well. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having us on this morning. Thank you. It's Good such stuff. a lovely story.